What's up fellow YouTubers? Uh, I want to do a quick video tonight showing a new knife I just got in. Uh, this is from Kershaw called the Thermite. This blade was introduced at SHOT Show 2013 uh, and a lot of people have been really excited for its release. I managed to snag one from Cabela's uh, who apparently is the only people that have one in stock right now. So I'll go over some of the specs of the knife quick while it's sitting there and then we'll give you guys some up close HD uh, what I see is pros and cons and then a comparison to another Kershaw. So first off, it is a flipper design from Rick Hinderer. Uh, it uses his Spanto tip. It does have Kershaw's speed safe opening, so it is assisted opener, frame lock uh, with quad carry. The blade is three and a half inches. Uh, enclosed, it's four and seven eighths inches. Total weight is 4.5 ounces. So you know, for that size blade, in my opinion, it's not super heavy. It actually doesn't feel very heavy in the hand. It has very well balanced. And it uses an 8CR13 MOV steel with a stonewash finish. G10 front scale um, with a 410 steel in the back where the frame lock is. Also has a stonewash finish on that as well. So, great knife. Uh, cool design. I'm a big fan of Rick Hinderer's designs on his knives. I'll give you guys a little bit more close up here. So there's the G10 scale. And that very cool blade. You can kind of see that sort of semicircular line towards the tip. And that's where it begins its flat grind for its tanto tip. You can see that sort of reinforced tip there. And that swedge that comes down as well. Really cool. It's got the Kershaw logo right there by the thumb stud. Some jimping on the top, uh, not really useful. Some more decoration to match what they did with the backspacer here, which I believe is like a Zytel. Then on the back here we have the stone washed frame lock. Kershaw's awesome deep carry pocket clip. Probably one of the best I've ever used. It is again a steel frame lock and it has that little disc to prevent over travel from the locking bar. There's your lock up on it. And then over here we've got made in China 8CR 13MOV and the patented hinderer design. Again it is four way reversible on the pocket clip. So lefties, righties, tip up, tip down. Only downfall, um, which was pointed out by another review on YouTube, is that those screws on the pocket clip seem to be Loctited in. Um, I've already started to strip one, trying to remove it to switch it to tip up, which is what I prefer. And so as of right now, they're not going anywhere because I don't have the means to fix it. The other thing is the thumb studs are kind of loose. Um, and I don't really know how you would tighten those. I don't plan to use them anyway, but um, it would be nice if they weren't so loose. I'm not sure. I'm going to pull the knife to the back and see if you guys can hear this. So here's some in the hand shots. You can see how it fits there. It's real comfortable. It's, unless you kind of choke up, it's almost a reach to touch that jimping, at least for me. But I do like it. Show you guys the flip here, action. A good shot of that stone wash blade there. It's really nice looking. So it's got a nice thwack when it comes out. I like that. Nice and solid sounding. So set that down for a minute here. We'll go through what I see as some of the uh, pros and cons of this blade. So first off, the pros, I think right off the bat, you can say just the value that you get. You're getting that Rick Hinderer design, that you know Hinderer ZT look. Um, 
without spending the money. I believe this was $44.99 when I bought it. Um, has been cheaper other places, but I wanted to get it, get this review up for you guys to see. Um, you know, kind of medium traction on the, G, on the G10, so not going to really tear up your clothes. I really like that blade design. It's really unique. Flippers have become kind of my favorite knife to carry, so I really like, you know, that this is a flipper design with that frame lock. Um, it's, it's not really a lot you can't say great about this blade. It's just so unique and awesome, especially, again, for that price that you're paying and the value that you get. It's just really sweet. So, you know, really the only cons I see are the uh, screws on the um, pocket clip, not being able to really reverse it the way that they Loctited those in, so that's kind of a bummer, but we'll see. I really wanted to get this sent off and get it pimped, um, do a different color backspacer, different colored handle scale, maybe do some file work, um, redo the stone washing on it. So uh, maybe that gentleman can swap that pocket clip around for me, we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it for pros and cons, and I see a lot more pros than cons, definitely. It's an awesome knife, great EDC choice, you got that nice 3.5 inch blade, so can flex into some other rolls if you need it to. Um, let's uh, show you guys here a little size comparison with another ZT that I had, or not ZT, Kershaw. I wish I had ZTs in my collection. So this is the Kershaw Cryo, the original size. So I believe 2.75 inch blade, so it gives you a little bit you know, an idea. I know the cryo has been just extremely popular. I love carrying it. A little on the heavy side, though. Um, I think it actually weighs more than the thermite. But, you know, another great choice, another great blade. I love carrying it. Got the little Emerson bead on there. Love those guys. I'm going to have to pick up another one to put on my thermite. But yeah, just kind of give you that idea. Similar styling. Again, you know, they're both Rick Hinderer. So they have that similar look and flair to them. And I did swap the cryo to um, tip up carry. So something I wish I could do with this new one, but we'll see. So there you go, guys. That's uh, that's the video. That's what I got for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll end off here with a few more up close shots of this without my annoying voice in the background and you guys have a great night and thanks for checking out my videos